really exciting to hear about what's possible now with real-time unified data. Next, let's hear from a single store customer who has put this data intensive power to use in his business. I'd like to introduce David, David Hannibal from IEX Cloud. Hi, thank you. And uh, thank you, single store, for having me today. Uh, so as I was introduced, my name is David Hannibal. I'm head of product and partnerships for IEX. Uh, for those of you who maybe do not know about IEX or IEX Cloud, IEX Cloud, we are a subsidiary of the IEX group. Um, some of you may know us from the Michael Lewis book, Flash Boys, it was a New York Times bestseller, or uh, maybe you'll know us from the Investors Exchange, which is a, a stock exchange that started back in, uh, the company started in 2012, but we just became a stock exchange just a, a number of years ago. So today for, for my customer spotlight, really wanna just kind of highlight IEX and what we're doing um, in the cloud group, um, what our business model is, and, and really why we found value in, in single store and why we consider them such a great partner. So, you know, if, if we think about um, the problems we see in, in data, right, the, the main challenge that we focus on in IEX cloud is data delivery. Um, data delivery is, is one of those pain points that you've essentially seen for, for a very long time, and, and we, we see it time and time again, um, especially coming from the financial data world, uh, getting data into the hands of, of customers where they are has always been a pain point for those who have data. And for, for the data owners, it continues to create new pain points and challenges. Um, being able to take data and, and deliver it to them, to distribute it in the means that they want, to the endpoints that they want, right into those customers' hands. Um, and then for those customers, we continue to hear the challenges they, they have. Um, being able to access data in a programmatic way to most people sounds um, rudimentary, but in, in the financial services world, that, that is something that really does not exist. And, and we bring that to market. So we bring that scale, uh, and we bring that scale to, to fintechs, to application developers, to large enterprises, some of the world's largest asset managers and, and hedge funds and, and tier one banks. Um, but yet at the same time, we have a strong belief in serving everyone. And, and so it also is serving um, individuals at home in the retail space or students in a, in a class learning Python for the very first time and ne needing financial data. The, the point we have is, is really to span that, that whole um, um, financial data market and help those individuals. And how we do it is all around our platform. Our central platform is the, the, the method by which we can take hundreds of data owners and get their data to those data customers right where they are. And whether that is a programmatic um, access, so an, an API, whether that is real-time data, so that's streaming, which is a totally different unique method, or uh, those who just simply want data in Excel. You know, what we constantly find is those with data are, are trying to keep up with the demands of their customers. And so we are that glue by which they can, they can solve those challenges. Um, for, for us, you know, it's, it's about data all around the world on a, on a global scale. Uh, similar to single store, it is about speed and it is about scaling out that functionality. Uh, today, single store um, is announcing two key themes that I, I think are really important to us and that, that ring true for us. Um, in those, um, and I, I highlighted in yellow on, on the slides for those who are following along there, you know, the, the two main things that we find really impactful are that operational developer connectivity in, in terms of connecting those two user groups in one central database. This is something, this is a type of, of um, a functionality we really believe in. We've been doing this for the developer and for data analytics on, on our side. And, and so um, hearing this today is, is a theme that we believe is, is really going to uh, be impactful. The other thing that um, I was really um, thrilled to hear is the move to this credit-based model. Um, at IEX Cloud, we've been on a credit-based model since uh, the creation of our business two years ago. We actually just had our two-year anniversary last month. And we've believed in this model because as, as Raj was highlighting, it allows firms to scale. It allows you to build more and do more with time um, and yet 
um, pause if you need to pause and then resume in the case of single store or for us consume as much data as you need for a given project and then consume more when we release more data sets onto the platform and that we call it a pay as you grow but it's a similar concept and we find our customers truly love it and, and find a lot of value in it. So I wanted to just highlight those two points because there's just great synergies and parallels to, to both. So with that, let's, let's maybe transition and talk a little bit about how our, our customers use us, which is gonna be a, a good segue into why we are with Single Store. So uh, with our customers, they need speed and scale, the same way uh, customers of Single Store need speed and scale. Um, we're in 120 or just over 120 countries today. We serve uh, just over 160,000 uh, unique uh, customers, and they serve in the tens of millions of, of users. Okay, so, so we have a, a very large uh, breadth that we need to cover. And, and the data is, is all over uh, in terms of real time and intraday, end of day, and historic. And what we've tried to do is also wrap that in a model that, that will continue to scale. So the, the idea is we need to be able to deliver our data in sub 10 millisecond anywhere where our customer is. And that's, that's about what we average is sub 10 millisecond. And, and that data needs to go out in a way that can support our fintech community that build their fintech apps on us or those enterprises who are building out um, customer portals and, and things like that for their end customers. And what we find time and time again is that speed and scale matters. And the same way we have uh, found that need, um, we found a great partner to help us in terms of that data storage in, in single store. Um, and, and so in just highlighting a couple customer examples for us, you know, it, it always goes back to that. Changing the model, changing the way people do their application development in a way that is better in terms of infrastructure or cost optimization in terms of their infrastructure scaling. It's not always just about the data, it's about what you put around that data that we call the IEX cloud platform that enables people to do more. And what it boils back to then is then we need internal partners to help us um, in, in terms of some of those elements that, uh, that we don't build out specifically. Um, and, and with that, you know, I kind of want to just dive into some of the types of data we have because I think it, it does tell a decent story in terms of how we arrived at, at finding Single Store as a partner for us. So as, as, a, as a data platform, we need to be, ha be able to handle pretty much everything. Um, so it's everything that one would expect in a financial data world. Um, so it's real-time exchange data, it's intraday data, it's end of day data, it's historic data, it's unstructured data, it's structured content. It, it, there are uh, hundreds of uh, content sets and, and hundreds of millions of data points that we have to maintain and support. And when we set out um, to, to find a, a database partner to help us with that uh, part of our stack, we really did find a good strong partner in single store to help us deliver on, on that central tenant. And you can see the other tenants that make up what is IEX Cloud in our platform on, on the slide. And what it allowed us to do was to work with Single Store to then allow us to focus on those other elements um, and, and build out more functionality and scale to better serve our customer base, to better enable those with data to slice and dice that data exactly as their end customer wants to get the best end customer experience. And ultimately what that does is it, it helps the greater, the greater good of those in the financial data world and the larger non-financial data world because it allows them to get that data delivered where they are, just as they want, however it needs to get connected to their, say, um, symbology system when you're dealing with financial data or their time series understanding in terms of uh, historical data. And, and Single Store has really helped us there. Um, in terms of storing that and, and maintaining that. And we even just had them for, um, for a two-week exercise uh, just, just earlier this month to, to continue to move faster and scale better with Single Store. And, and so just to kind of wrap up my um, quick couple of minutes in terms of uh, customer spotlight, maybe just leave with a couple of key points. Um, we're really excited about this new office uh, and what it's going to bring. Um, we continue to try to push the envelope in terms of data delivery and, and scaling out our platform. And, 
and we focus on, you know, especially running product, not what we're going to be doing this quarter or this year, but into the future. And so I have big hope and, and excitement for this office in terms of what they're going to be able to deliver. Um, and we look forward to that partnership to grow. Uh, and we really, truly have valued this partnership. Um, when we set out, um, or Josh, our CTO, set out 18 months ago to, to find that, that strategic partner, we really couldn't have invented a, a better type of technology to meet our needs for, uh, for exactly what single store is to us. So with that, you know, I, I thank you um, for the opportunity to kind of speak to you. I appreciate the time to kind of highlight um, how, how we help and serve the larger data world. And uh, thank you, single store.